All right, so I wanted to talk uh, today a bit about back priming. So back priming means that um, the back side of a piece of wood, which is gonna be really hard to see, is painted. So back here, they didn't, so they installed this as a piece of bare cedar, which is running across here. Now, the problem with this is that if you don't back prime, so if they had painted the back of this, the back side of it, water cannot wick its way through. And I know that sounds really weird, but water will find the fastest way out of a certain scenario. So this, this deck is sitting on a lip down below and water will collect in there. And one way it may try to get out is actually through the wood. I know that sounds weird, but it's true, but that's why you get peeling problems, especially in older houses that don't have a vapor barrier. So the key to a house, and the key to this, is this wood should all have been back primed. Now I just put a coat of primer on the front of it, but I can't get behind it unless I tear it off and I don't want to do that. Um, but this is, the, and, and then another thing that can go wrong is now I'm going to have, I know it's hard to see in this light, but because the wood is not painted back there and now I've paint on the top here, right? Now I've got this little edge where water can wick up underneath the paint, right? And that could cause it to peel. Um, this deck, is it one of those composite decks, which I think is a great idea. You should never paint a horizontal surface. If you if you were to if you put wood down here and paint it, uh, you know most of the time the paint is going to fail because you're walking on it. Wood expands and contracts. As soon as the paint cracks, water gets inside of it, and that's why it peels. So this is a good solution, but this was too bad. This should have been back primed before being before being installed. It just would have given it better protection. So I highly recommend when you're doing new siding, any kind of new skirt board like this, fascia, whatever it is, it should always be back primed and you should always prime the end pieces as well. So these end pieces were not painted either, right? So anyway, just a quick note on that. Back priming is really, really important. And ideally you could just back prime it with a primer, but I like the idea of back priming it with not not only a coat of primer, but with a coat of finish product. So like here, I'm using the floor and patio paint from Benjamin Moore. It would have been nice to have been able to prime that back piece and prime and paint it at least with one coat. All right, guys, uh, if you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you think about subscribing. Thanks.